Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I just got the shipment in for the they're the Carlisle Racing um, Demon Springs. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these guys for you. Um, it kind of sucked because I ordered them during uh, like Black Friday. I got a little, little bit of a deal on them. Um, they are on back order, and then the people that deal with these. Uh, this motorsport company uh, emailed me and they said, hey, the springs are on back order. So it's going to be a few more weeks. Uh, luckily, I just got them in. Um, I'll go ahead and open them up and I'll look at the quality. So first impressions, um, the, the box itself that the springs came in, um, extremely light. I'm not sure if that's related to the style of spring it is. I'm pretty unfamiliar. Let me just move some stuff here, I'll show you. I'm pretty unfamiliar with, uh, I guess, track springs or race springs. Um, these right here are my factory springs, okay? So I think these are my rears. Uh, the D2s are currently in the car, so obviously I can't show you those for comparison. But at least I can kind of compare the, the stocks to the uh, Demon Killer Springs. So let me go ahead and open this up. Check out a staple in there. But... So right away, like I said, first impressions. Um, box is fairly light. Uh, for, uh, the tape... Is actually the color of the springs. I'm not sure if they did that on purpose, but probably not. I'm just being hopeful. But here they are, guys. And I'm really excited to get like a wheel shot of um, the new VMS um, front runners and maybe like a spring shot in the background, like between the spoke. I think that'd be really cool to see that. Um, let me open these up. Packaged pretty well. Um, like I said, I bought these during Black Friday, so I only paid two hundred fifty dollars for these. Okay, and here they are. So first impressions, uh, pretty good quality. Um, it's, it looks like it's power coated, very nice. Um, you can see the Carlisle Racing right there. on the spring itself. I think that's a part number. But there it is. It seems from a spring perspective pretty nice. Um, so let me see. These are the rears. So the compression ring I'm assuming is going to be very different. Um, so I can push down a little bit on those. Where these I really can't. So they're a lot softer. Um, I'm pretty sure the uh, D2 springs um, were, sim were similar similar sized um, than the Carlisle's. The springs do look a little longer, but I'm assuming it's the style of wheel. Or I'm sorry, the style of spring. Forgive me on that. So right here is the front. Um, this is the front factory. Oh, so let me see if I can get a front shot. Also, I'll put these back in the box where they won't get damaged. Um, I'll be putting all this stuff in um, probably March, March ballpark. Um, I got to get the car inspected in May. So I'm doing the pulley, the springs, the control arms, the rear end, the front wheels, um, everything all in the same uh, couple weeks, I think. And like mid March area, so here's the front, front spring guys. Carlisle Racing. I I do like these a lot. These are very, very well made. Um, part number, I'm assuming. But actually, these look very similar, front and back. So I think those should not be any issue whatsoever um 
the D2s that are in the vehicle currently. Um, it's a, it's a 1.8 in the front, 2.0 in the rear, as far as uh, height dimensions, as far as the lower goes. Um, these should bring um, the whole car up about three quarters of an inch, which honestly I'm not even really upset about because um, I'm running a 17 inch wheel, but it is, it is very close and I do scrape on literally everything um, that I ride on. Look at the look at the rust in the in the rotors. It's disgusting. But yeah, the car sitting the way it is literally rubs on everything. Grant, these are twenties, but I can't even stick my my fingers in those. That's how low this is. This is static too, so I can't lower or raise this. This is exactly how it is all the time. So that right there is the front. Um, stock to uh, Demon Killer um, and these look very very light as well um, these are probably stiffer honestly but the, the weight themselves they feel good compared to the factory ones I'm not sure if there's really a big difference um, these however I think are going to be the big difference that's where I'm going to get a lot of that weight transfer from um, also, these, I want to do a quick review on these. These are the Godspeed Project uh, rear camber control arms. Um, so these will be um, in my my rear end joints for the uh, for all the uh, so, uh, camber correction. Because right now there is a, a, a pretty noticeable camber in the rear end. I'm not sure if you can see that, but... It does set very stance-like, which I'm losing a lot of footprint on, off the line because of that. So these are supposed to correct them. I'll have uh, one of my racing friends that that's pretty knowledgeable and stuff like this help me adjust these properly. I'll get the whole car aligned afterward. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I have for you today. I have the camera control arms and demon spring so this is like going to be a full suspension change um for 2021 and also i'll be doing the repair on this part of the right 230 millimeter i've already cleaned it i did buy these guys for the replacement a replacement boot um but as you can see that is definitely not going to work at all. So I need to return those. Um, I do have a repair kit coming um, for this market. Uh, this left one I actually bought new. I got, actually got a pretty good deal on these. So I was originally looking at like $1,200 for the two. Um, I have about $270 uh, in total for both of these. Um, and then I was also talking to a friend. About my gear ratio, I think I'm going to end up doing a uh, 370 uh, limited slip. I just feel the 390 might be a little too extreme for what I'm going for. Um, and also the the big the big part is I'm going to want I'm going to want to um, be on the high end of fifth um, towards the quarter mile. Um, so I want to kind of stay in that power band. Where in a 390, um, you're kind of got you're gonna you're gonna go into six gear. Um, so I'll actually be shifting before the line, which is not what I want to be doing. Um, so I think the 370 is gonna be the bread and butter of the rear end. So yeah, that's what basically what I have today, guys. Um, I'm getting a little more comfortable with doing you know reviews and uh, talking on camera. It wasn't really my thing for a long time, but. I decided to show you guys that and just kind of tell you my plans coming up, so stay at it.